Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lucky and today I'm going to be doing the audio part of the stream setup. So last video I talked about how to set up the Elgato HD60 Pro and that was between the gaming PC and streaming PC and then the HDMI setup and stuff like that. If you didn't watch that video, I suggest you go back now and go watch that video. Um, it is actually very simple to do. It's just if, obviously if you don't know how to do it, just watch the video and then come back to this video because this is the audio part. So I just want to thank you guys for all the support on that video and also if you want to check me out on Twitch, everything will be in the description. So let's get right into it anyway. So first of all, you want to make sure your stream PC is on. You'll know if it's on if you follow the last video and it'll show these two are combined. So my Acer monitor, which is my gaming monitor, is connected to my Elgato. So now on my streaming PC, I can duplicate the displays and I can see this screen here. I can see on the stream PC. So when I'm playing games, you know, I'm streaming from my streaming PC, obviously. Um, so make sure you guys go and follow that video like I said before. So if they're correct, then you can just minimize that. You don't really need to unpun, but I'm just going to minimize it anyway. Um, then you want to go to these websites here. So voice meter, you want to download. You want to download the banana. That's what we're going to be working with today. Um, it's literally just right there. Probably just download the EXE. That way you can just install it straight away. You know, it is actually really helpful that you don't have to go out and buy a mixer, an XLR setup. This is all done through software, so it's actually very simple to do. So this is my voice meter right now. I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. But for now, make sure you download the EXE. Also, you want to download the VB cable driver. Now, I'm not actually using these because I managed to get it to work without. So that's there if you're struggling, but I wouldn't suggest it to be honest. It's just there just in case people want to mess with it or stuff like that. And then obviously you're going to need the Elgato software on your PC. You're going to need it on both PCs because you're going to be using sound capture. And it only comes with sound capture if you download the game capture. So I suggest downloading this. It should be version 3.7 unless they release something else in the future. But it's the same instance and it should still work. So once you've got all three of those downloaded, again, you don't really have to do this. You can just skip this. So I'm just going to close that actually. So once you've got those done, you can just open the voice meter and open up the sound capture software. And basically what I've done here, we'll focus on the sound capture first. So you want to go to advanced and then what's your audio input? And you should see voice meter output VB audio voice meter VAIO. You want to select that. And pretty much you just want to hear through your headset. So I wouldn't change anything else. This is just my settings. So if you want to just copy my settings, it should work straight off the bat then. So once you've done that, you can just minimize that. You don't really need that no more. Just when you turn on your PC, it will be ideal that you have sound capture automatically come on or you can just search at the bottom down here and search sound capture and then just dump on it the settings will always save so you don't have to keep changing it so the hardware input one i would select your microphone so for me mine is my rode nt usb now you don't really want to mess with the settings um too much you can if you just um you can select the inputs and then I'll put it to your headset so you can hear yourself just to test it but I'll do it all on stream just so you know like it's good um, I won't base it off your headset I'll just base it off the stream because I've noticed when I've done it it does sound completely different sometimes so this is completely fine make sure a1 is ticked and hardware input 2 you want the line Elgato sound capture right here WDM that's the same with these, by the way. Don't use MME or KS. Just use WDM, Line Elgato Sound Capture for hardware input 2. Now, on this one, you want to select A2 and B1. Anyway, basically, A1, A2, A3 is your hardware output. So, my mic will not output to my headset if a2 is not ticked so if you want to hear yourself you can just click a2 and then you'll start to hear yourself however i want to hear my gameplay so i've selected a1 so stream can hear it and a2 so i can hear it in my headset 
Unfortunately, you can't really separate the audio dramatically without using the other plugin, which was, it, it sounds quite bad if I'm honest. Um, I wouldn't use it. I would just cope with lowering your game sound and just hiring up your Discord if you want to hear the people more than the game. But obviously, if you're playing solo, you're going to be hiring up your gameplay. So this actually controls the Discord and also your game volume. So I leave mine at about 12, but make sure A1 and A2 is checked. And let's move on to the output. So right now, A1, which everything is going to, which is the stream PC, so the stream can hear it. So you actually want to select WDM Elgato. So that is the Elgato itself, but it's duplicating the screens. So on the stream PC, it will get the sound from the gaming PC through this output. So make sure you select WDM Elgato NVIDIA High Definition Audio. So select that one. And obviously you want to output to your headset. So A2, you want to select your headset. So mine's called Headset 1 High Definition Audio Device. So select that. And that is pretty much it. So you guys can actually check me out on Twitch. Head over to twitch.tv slash Lucky. You can check out my VODs and you can actually hear how this setup sounds. I'm actually using these settings all across my stream. I haven't changed them just for this video. These are all default. Like as soon as I opened it, you saw the default ones. I've just disconnected these just so I can show you how to connect them. So if you guys want to go ahead and visit my Twitch and have a look at the audio, it's pretty decent. You can also add a noise gate into the voice meter by using this one on the right. Mine's 1.5. That seems completely fine to me. Like if I stop talking, that goes completely down until I start talking again. So 1.5 for the noise gate is actually pretty ideal. Um, I've hired it up by 0.2 on the line just because I want that extra boost of sound. But everything else, keep it the same as mine. I'll leave it up for a second. But thank you guys for watching anyway. Again, if you want to check out any of my social medias, it will be in the description. And yeah, thank you guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.